some cool cats and kittens. We are here for another haul flip. But doot doot no no. Okay, the first thing is just really quick. Um, my friend Sophia sent me this kit from Caress Press. She accidentally ordered two of them and said she would send me the second one. And I'm gonna save this for next Christmas because it is so freaking cute. We have got the Sophia looking gal and the little extra box, the washi. These are the full boxes, like, I love that. It's just so cute. So I will be saving this Cutie Pie Honey Bunch kit to use next Christmas. Love that. I love, this looks so good with my coral foil. Ugh, can't wait. So then I think I only have two other things to show you. Both wax. We'll start with a fantasy wax melts. Did I already show this? I don't think so. No, I showed the Disney Christmas collection. Okay. I was actually getting off of Let's get all these freebies out of here. I really need to mail my sister her box. So I love that they're doing stickers for now. It's so cute. We got pistachio pudding cake. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. Absolutely phenomenal. Pecan twist. It's very buttery. I've been noticing that very like a lot of pecan scents to me smell like buttered popcorn. And then blueberry cobbler. I'm not a blueberry girly, but it's fine for blueberry. I always send samples to my sister because I, like I've mentioned before, I only have two rooms in my house that I use one melt for, which is my office and Chris's office. Chris likes mint and coffee. And it has to be God tier to be in my office. So, let us get into it. I There's two things I got multiple of. We'll do those last. We'll do the things I got one of first. First off, we got this snap bar. Obsessed with this. This is a rose such a clatter. This was the um, Santa Claus kit, or kit. The Santa Claus collection. Cranberry apple marmalade and artisan bread. This smells amazing. First you get like that cranberry apple and then you get the hint of the bread. Mm. I want to eat this bread and I don't even like cranberry. I'm very excited about that. We have um, Judy's Perfect Recipe which is gingerbread cafe latte. I don't know why I only got one of these. That was a terrible mistake on my part. This smells so good. So good. We have got peppermint bark, which was the North Pole scent. Amazing, phenomenal, fantastic. Chris loved this one. We are a mint household, so that will be well loved. I got one milk and cookies, which was called the Santa Claus. This literally smells like Oreos to me and milk. Mm, I just, I love milk and cookie scents. And then the only other one I got one of was Bernard, the head elf, which was pecan twist and fresh coffee, and it's these tarts. This smells really good. You get the coffee. You get the pecan. The coffee helps balance out the, like, um, butteriness of the pecan twist. I really enjoy that. Then I got three of Believing is Seeing, which, how cute are these? They're just so aesthetically pleasing. This is Vanilla Bean Noel, Zucchini Bread, and Pie Crust. 10 out of 10. This needs to be a core scent. This is so good. It's a really creamy, rich, sweet vanilla zucchini bread. This is amazing. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite would be these cutie pies. Let's just look at the shapes. Also, I love that all four of these are different shapes. And this is Comet the Reindeer, which is brown sugar, pound cake, and pretzel. I just love pretzel. It's like a sweeter version of pretzel. Not cinnamon sugar because there's no cinnamon, but it's just like a sweetened pretzel scent. And it is amazing. I'm positive that, that one, this one sold out because I think there was only two available when I ordered, which is why I only ordered two because I always, so I get messed up on times of things because I'm so used to like living EST. So when like I forget that I'm CST, so I often forget about releases until like 20 minutes later. 
so that's like a meat problem and then we have a sassy grill aroma order which this order is not that big and yet some for some odd reason it shipped ups so that's weird i got two samples i don't like either of these we've got Hoovel, very like sweet candy scent and then we got snowy woods this one I don't think my sister will like. I'm going to give this to Andrea's friend Amanda probably. Because it seems like something she would like. She likes gross scents. We have got two bags here. I love these shape bags. We've got Hose Over Bros. Which is pink sugar, blue sugar blended with birthday cake. I've been loving pink sugar and blue sugar mixed together. It's a really nice, sweet, this is what the chunks look like. One of these will be perfect for my bathroom. This is the perfect, like, masculine, feminine, sweet yumminess. Just like a per this is like a perfect bathroom scent for me. So I love that. And then I got Sookie, which I've had before, and it's really good. It smells like a baker's kitchen with sweet batter, vanilla extract, and fresh baked cookies. These ones are just, like, brown and yellow. Very nice, sweet, delicious bakery scent. I got three of these cutie pie honey bunches. So we've got ube macaroon, macaron, a creamy rich ube buttercream filling. I like this scent. I'm pretty sure Andre gave me a sample of it before and I really enjoyed it. So I got a little souffle. I don't think I need like a loaf of it, but it's nice. One of these was really gross. I think it was egg tart. I actually just bought a couple of egg tarts from like an Asian bakery and I haven't tried them yet, but I'm excited. This is one of the most famous Chinese desserts in the cla is the classic egg tart. It is a delicious pastry coated of buttery flaky outer shell with a creamy yolk custard in the center. Yeah. This just smells like buttered popcorn. I am not a fan. I will be sending that to my sister immediately. And we have milk bread, which is soft and fluffy white bread that has been infused with the rich and creamy flavors of sweet milk and butter. This is amazing. This is like a nice, sweet, yummy bread. No, you get the bread. You get the sweet milkiness. Love. Got one loaf in butter your buns which is salted butter slight hint of cinnamon quickly melting into a fresh from the oven steaming buttery biscuit this is very texas roadhouse roll scent i don't think i needed a loaf of this that was in fact a mistake but it's fine and that's just how i would describe it is just fine and i don't need loaves of things that i think are fine if that makes sense I'll put these good approved waxes in here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five bars. See what I mean? Like this wasn't like some extremely large order that warranted a um UPS package. But anywho, we got Wizard Butterbeer, which is fizzy cream soda and decadent butterscotch. I have had butterbeer in london and in orlando and none of the times i've had it has it been fizzy so that kind of throws me off but it smells like fizz like a butterscotch fizzy pop i don't know how i feel about it i think i would like it better if it was like a just not fizzy <laughs> version if it was like vanilla like a vanilla probably sugar cookie royale and butterscotch would be more representative of butterbeer because butterbeer is so sweet and that's very fizzy we've got coffee in the kitchen which is fresh brewed coffee cookies twinkies birthday cake vanilla butter fudge and marshmallow super yummy just uh smells so good you get the coffee you get the birthday cake yummy sweet coffee scent we have blue pine which is just blue sugar and sweet pine nice masculine christmas scent We have got Let's Get Glazed, which is sweet, sugary icing, poured over deep fried pastry. This one came broken. I don't give a F. It's fine. This is amazing. This is, I think, one of my favorite things in the entire order. It's like a nice, sweet, ugh, pastry I love. 
And then this one is because Andrea loves to bully me about how I think that leather scents smell good. So this one is called Southern Sass, and I'm a Southern Sassy gal these days. So this is just vanilla bean and leather, and I really like it. I like the smell of leather, period. It is what it is. And this smells like a sweet leather scent, and I really like it. That's it for this portion, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, guys, I'm here with my last haul clip, and I literally could not tell you what I have because I haven't filmed a haul clip in so long. This. What even is this? This is all sticker stuff, honestly. And then I, this is, oh my god, and then I have some fantasy wax. We're going to start with the wax because it takes up more room. The first thing I'm hauling is my collab that I did with fantasy wax. And this, um, actually sold out on the first day, which I'm, like, so proud of. So, had to say it, but I'm still going to haul it because it's freaking fantastic, amazing, wonderfulness, and I want to. But, um... Yeah, I do have a code with Fantasy Wax. You can always use Hannah 10 when you're saving, when you're shopping. So we're just going to go over these really quick since I do have a whole video dedicated to them. We have Kindergarten Crybaby, which is strawberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. This is such a good stra um, strawberry, like, no, PBJ scent. Like, if they, there's these two that are, like, my favorites. And I'm so excited to see what you guys think. Um, if you guys do buy this, or did buy it, like, and you have a video, like, with a review, like, send it to me on Instagram. I would love to see it. Unless you're being mean, then I don't want to see it. But, anywho, this one's a really good PBJ scent. Love. When I first smelled these, they were, like, freshly poured, and they've been sitting for a couple of weeks now, and they're, like, smacking me in the face. This is my absolute favorite one. Like, when she does a poll on Instagram of what to bring back, I'm 100% voting for this. And I called it Simply Sweet, and it's zucchini bread and salted caramel. It's just so good. It's, like, annoying. Oh, it's just so good. If you want more in-depth explanation on the, like, um, scents or the names that I picked, just watch the video dedicated to this collab. We have Gotta Catch Em All, Lemon Pound Cake, Pie Crust, and Zucchini Bread. Ooh, it's smelling more and more like pie crust as it's curing, and it's just whew, so good. We've got Zuko and Iro, cinnamon roll, tea and cakes, and Malo Fireside. Cinnamon roll and tea and cakes is just so good, and there's like that hint of the smokiness. Very small hint, but it's there. Traveler, French baguette, tea and cakes, and cinnamon glazed baklava. Yeah, I'm really getting the bread and the tea and cakes. So yummy. We've got Hubs, which is like a peppermint mocha. It's coffee bean, peppermint, and sugar cookie royale. So good. I smell peppermint first and then the coffee. Chris smelled the coffee first and then the peppermint. So I guess they're pretty well blended. And the sugar cookie just adds a bit of sweetness. Hogwarts is home. A zucchini bread, sugar corn pudding, and sugar milk. It's just such, like, a warm, comforting, like, it just feels like somebody's giving you a hug. And this is probably the most hated on scent when the collection was announced. And it's Hannah Banana and Zucchini Bread, Banana Nut Bread, and Sugar Cookie Royale. And I get it, guys. Banana's scary. I'm gonna be honest. I did not like banana. I did not like banana when I first smelt it. But then you just gotta melt it. Just give her a chance and your mind will be changed. It's Oh, it's so good. I can just tell it's going to smell like fresh baked banana bread. And I do have like a banana bread mix in my pantry currently. And I can tell you that whenever that is being melted, I'm going to have to, um, what's it called? Make it. I'm going to be honest, I'm a hoarder and I will probably just keep this like this forever. And then I did order a couple other ones that will actually melt, but like, that's just for the keepsakes, okay? And then into my order. What did I order? Let me get everything out. We've got a lid falling off. Oh my god, I 
was like, did I have this many of the same thing, but they're just the same color? And it actually just scared me because I ordered more of it because I thought I had a certain amount. Whoo, that was a little bit spooky. Okay. Okay. We have two samples here, which like always, I'll probably send to my sister. We have apple cinnamon strudel. This is actually very good apple. I don't mind this apple. And then just straight up peanut butter. And it smells like peanut butter. And I picked up five Kirsten's faves. And I'm going to be honest, I've since picked up five more because Andrea is hyping up this scent so hard. She's like, it's so good. You need a million. But here she is. And this is Kirsten's fave 2022 blackberry jam butter cookies, pumpkin pecan waffle and pretzel. And the way Andrea described it is you start out by getting the really fruity um, blackberry jam butter cookies. The pumpkin pecan waffle kind of like leans into both and then it ends as pretzely. And I love all those scent notes. This is so good. I did pick up more, so you will see more in my January haul. And these other two, I believe, are core scents. We have tea and cakes. I like kind of wish it said core scent on it, so like I knew. Love tea and cakes. Chris has actually become a very big fan of tea and cakes ever since my collab. He has decided that tea and cakes is up there as one of his top oils. And then I picked up three coffee shop, which is fresh coffee and baked pastry. It's just so good. It's almost got like a bit of a maple-y hint to it. I'm obsessed. I love a coffee scent. These will be heavenly throughout my house. Okay, I have one order here that is not SPC, so we'll go over this too first. This is Fabled Court on Etsy. And I just feel like needing more book icons. This is the freebie that came. There's like some fairies with a tree, some presents for papers, really smooth. Shopping bag, it's very Christmassy themed. A business card. And like I said, I wanted to pick up some book stickers, so we got these. I got two sheets of each colorway that was available. There was like some brights, some pastels, um, and then there was these, there was like this wintry colorway, and then this like almost spring colorway. So, you know, for my book sticker collection. Um, I have this envelope here. I don't know what's in this. Okay, we got a journaling card. This is so cute. I love this. Oh, here we go. It was like a season's greetings thing from the good old SPC. We have got the naughty stocking. That's really cute. We've got a label sampler in hollow. And then we have this Christmas movies in hollow. So cute. So fun. Love. Um... I don't know if I can show these, so I'm just not going to. And then I did get another, she printed me another sheet of the Us stickers. Because, uh, duh. I'm not going to keep these organized by, oh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Okay. Yeah, some of them aren't even opened. Okay, yeah, I have a problem. So this was the January mystery. It's so cute like this strawberry party theme when I'm gonna use it no no idea but we'll find a place here she is it's so cute I love these colors and I do have some strawberry underlays available in the shop and washi this cake so cute I love the pop of green shockingly like I almost would want to do green foil to make that part pop more hello This would be perfect for a quote, an extra color, the icons, and then there's a baby box, a different tall girl, or a tall girl, I love her with her red hair, and then the other gals. And then the foil, we have some quotes, this is in sparkly red. We've got a label sampler in sparkly red, and then we have a caress press foil bundle. That is intense plaid. I don't think I will use the plaid, but I think I will switch it out for strawberries, personally. I love this double box with the strawberries. That is so cute. 
more overlays. We've got a tall box overlay, some headers. We've got the intense plaid underlays. I have a plaid like this and it's just not my vibe, but it's cute. I feel like these are different icons. I have never used a crest press foil bundle, but I feel like these are new. These ones for sure. They used to be like bigger. I do like the plaid for the washi though. That's actually so cute. And I like the plaid hole protectors. That's adorable. Very excited about that. No, not even 1% of a clue when I will use it. But we have it. We own it. We'll find a home for it. I obviously got the Cyber Monday mystery because I needed it. Had to have it. There was no other option. Got this sparkly rainbow foil sampler. I need to change my battery. Of course I do. Okay, guys, if this is a little bit different angle, zoom level, I apologize. But we had to change the battery. But anyhow, this is the label sampler, and I'm obsessed with that. I'm just obsessed with this foil bundle in general. It's rainbow mixed with sparkly rainbow. Like, literally say less. Let me move it a little bit more. You're not going to see it so much on these. But, oh my god. It's just everything. It gives me life, and I could cry it so pretty. You can see the combo on here really well, as well as on the bows is probably where you can see it the best. It's just stunning, absolutely beautiful. She needs to bring this foil bundle just to the shop because I need 6,000 of them. And this is the kit, it's a game night kit. I'll probably use this for Chris's birthday week as a possibility, but yeah. I love it. It's so cute. We've got like Cards Against Humanity, Battleship Life, Monopoly, Apples to Apples, Clue. We've got the like food boxes, the pails, all playing games. I love the colors. They're like games you don't like usually have. These are more me and Chris's kinds of games. We have all of these games besides Wingspan. We have Villainous, Gloomhaven, Catan, and Ticket to Ride. There we go. There's the more us. Uh, tricky tricky games <sighs> but it's just so cute i love this pattern for some reason i don't know it's just like speaking to me it's so cute these colors are so fun the extra box there that would be perfect for a quote the extra color i will probably bring in the green because like i just probably will do five colors or eliminate something else because I just love that lime. And then we have the, I love, this box is so cute. I'll probably bring in the Blondie Gal because oh, why not? But yeah, obsessed with the Cyber Monday mystery. She literally killed it. Oh my god, I have no idea what's happening here. I think that this is one order, could not really tell you. We've got the, a couple of the $75 plus freebies i think she just gave me both colors or a couple colors there is a sparkly magenta and a sparkly red i know that these freebies have changed the icons on them i think i have them in my in one of my orders and i'm very excited to share those with you guys um i got the doodles for both the prosperity kit and the austin kit because those are both in here um, Christmas is literally over by the time I am um, getting to this, <laughs> but I do have some planning these to still film and then like I'll probably just use them next year because I suck and have been too busy to deal with anything in life. But we've got the blondie gal, I don't ever remember her name, with the Christmas lights, her name's Hannah in my mind. We have the holiday spooky, holiday magic in pink and in red. We had to get the pretzel bits in the cup and the regular soft pretzels and I don't have any chicken wings stickers so I grabbed those as well. And then this was the color of the week this week. I keep forgetting off this 12th page. I'm like what is this? But yeah there's 12 sheets now. This pink is so pretty. I'm in love with her. But yeah all the different sheets. Then we have the Prosperity Kit, and I am obsessed with this. I do plan on using it with my Cherry Blossom underlays or my Dragon underlays. I think either of those will look good. Gold Hollow, Coral even. So many options, but there's this tall girl, and she's 
Oh, my bad. There's this tall girl and she's so flipping cute. I'll definitely be using, trying to use all these girls. They're all so cute. Soup dumplings. Just, ugh, all the food's making me hungry. That box is so pretty. Love this pattern. I just love this kit. I love these colors. I just, I just love it. I just love it. The bottom washi, the extra box there. This is just 10 out of 10. Stunning. And then I do have the Austin kit, which I am going to probably use for um, the first week of August, which would be the anniversary of when we moved here. Will not probably be using these because I do not care about soccer or football. But I did get the add-on girls for her. She's a cutie pie honey bunch. And then we have the Austin kit. We have the like postcard wall. We have another wall. We've got the map. We got the barbecue, cowboy boots, the bat bridge, which is just very disappointing when you see it in real life. We got the girls here and the other some other colorways. The colors of this are also so pretty. No idea what foil I will use with it yet. Maybe just black, honestly, or like orange. And then we got the like um, Tex-Mex food there. So good. Obsessed. When she told me she was doing like a Texas theme, an Austin theme, I was like, hell yeah, baby. Next orders up. We got the other two colors of the new $75 plus freebies, which are like the sparkly green and the sparkly blue. We got another color of the week, which was this blue color. Very pretty. And I got the doodle add-ons for both the notebook and Frosty. I've actually never seen the notebook, but we are watching it together. We like have like movie night once a week and for Valentine's Day or for February, we're doing all lovey movies. So the notebook is one of the ones we selected. I get told a lot that I look like Rachel McAdams. So I think it's just time. This was the add-on box. I don't really know any of these things. I just got it for future Hannah to use. The colors are very, very, very pretty. This is giving me very matte silver energy. There she is. I think I'll probably use matte silver. Maybe matte silver mixed with like rose gold might be pretty. Love. And I already have my entire January kit lineup done, but I had to get this. So she will be waiting till next year to be, or yeah, next year to be used. But this is frosty. And um, I love these deer. So cute. This was the add on, was the other hand colors with the waffles. Ugh, those look good too. Maybe I'm hungry. Ugh, love it. There's a wax warmer. These colors are so pretty. I'll probably use this with light purple or ice. Do you guys like it when I like let you know what foil options for kids? I feel like that's helpful. Or light pink. And I did get the add-ons. I don't really know why, but I think I wanted her, but like I could have just used her. I don't know. It was kind of a stupid purchase on my part to buy the add-ons. But, that's fine. And then my newest order. I was actually, saw this get packed in person with my eyeballs. Okay, we got some foil bundaloos in here. Ugh, so pretty. These are all in the new confetti. There is lavender hollow. I'm not going to take them out. Um, champagne lights, I believe, or just sparkly gold. I'm so bad at telling the difference. I suck. And sparkly hollow. Ugh, these are going to look so pretty. Um, These are the new $75 plus freebies. 2022 bestsellers. She just kind of threw them all in here while I was there. So I could just see all the different fun colors. But here's what the new $75 plus freebies, which is the 2022 bestsellers. Books, McDonald's, car, Chipotle, crumble, grocery shopping, um, the planner. This is, I'm guessing, just that Harry Potter sheet. Is this a, its own sheet or is it from a Harry Potter sheet? I don't know. Stickers, Dr. Umbrella. That's an odd one to be a top seller, but like, go off. YouTube, Target, the AirPods, the Switch, laundry, the laptop, shopping, or mailboxes, pick up, did the other book, Taco Bell, the weights, the slippers, the dog leash, Chick-fil-A, the mini ears, the wax, and the grocery cart. 
perfect. So if you guys spend $75 plus, you'll get one of these colors. There's orange, gray, brown, a yellow, ooh, a really pretty blue, a more teal blue, a greeny color, greenish brown, a true green. This is so pretty, a pretty, pretty, pretty purple. Like a magenta e color, a pinkish red, and then a light pink. Those are so fun. I did get the doodles for Pillow Talk and Starcrossed. Got the color of the week, which was a gray color. Had to get the characters because they were Harry Potter. Ugh. So we've got Harry, Hermione, Ron, Dumbledore, and Draco. Then I got two kits. I got Starcross, which apparently this is supposed to be like based on Romeo and Juliet. I've never seen that movie. So this box will probably not be used by me, but I did get the add-ons. So cute. And the kit, I just thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day. I love the vibes. She's so cute. So cute. I'll probably use... um matte bronze or light pink or rose gold or a combo of those things personally then pillow talk this one i think i might use with one of my new underlays in lace and then i have like um old one older ones that are called rosette I'm going to use both of those in combo. Not sure what color yet. Maybe, here it is. Maybe lavender and like deep pink might be pretty. These are the extra boxes. Oh my god, motherfucker, that's so loud. But it's just so cute. The eggplant makes me die laughing. The Louis box. So cute, so cute. And that's so pretty and that's it guys that is everything I do want to show you guys one thing that I'm adding to my collection from my own shop so you know shameless plug but the new SPC collab has come out as of January 1st and I have made myself one in heart hollow and one in pink tie-dye I'll just go through one of them it is this like groovy-ish vibes this is the add-on with the tall box the whole protector is in a quote but here is the new collab and like i said i technically am adding these to my collection of stickers so there is that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did not then i'll give it a thumbs down either way you're helping out my channel comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys